Listen to that out the vent hole. This is a Moby Dick video. Now, here's the deal. I know I probably, out of all the freaking, you know, a lot of the Bonzo freaks on YouTube have the most Moby Dick videos, but here's the thing. Most of my Moby Dick Live how-to videos are from my old production qualities. <laughs> Pretty bad. So here I am with the condenser mics, the new system. Well, now which is almost three years old. So what I'm going to do, there's going to be a few of these videos. I mean, there might be three or four. Now, what we're talking about here is when I'm referring to Moby Dick Live, it's what Bonham did in the Song Remains the Same soundtrack. We've seen the movie. That, okay, for lack of a better word, it's almost like scat drums. In, in fact, that's actually a really helpful way to think about it. Think about Now I'm going to tell you something about Bonham. There's a lot of drummers, even in solos, I mean, where their drummers will be playing along sometimes to a melody in their head. Sometimes for a whole structure of like, well, in this part I go to this and go to this. But I guarantee you, Bonham's thinking of something in his head. There's, he's playing to something in his head when he's doing that, okay? So here's the deal. The wonder of the Bonham engine. Look at my, I have a couple of videos on a thing called the Bonham engine. B-O-N-H-A-M engine, E-N-G-I-N-E. -E. Now, the Bonham didn't invent it, but it's something he used all the time, which really simply, if Bonham... In Moby Dick, just as a refresher, I'll, I'll put a card up where you can go to the Bonham engine. But again, real fast, the point of the Bonham engine is, is your legs are going back and forth with single strokes, and, and your arms are at the same time. But the important distinction is, is you're not going right arm at the same time as your right leg, and left at the same time as your left. They're alternating, okay? So when your right hand is striking, your left foot is pushing down on the hi-hat stand or the bass drum pedal if you have a bass drum over there, okay? Conversely, your left hand is striking, your right foot is striking. So it's like an X, it's a diagonal, okay? You know when I talk about my triplet videos, triangulating the triplets, which I think I, I, think I need an Emmy Award for. If there was an Oscar, for, if there was some kind of an award, I think that's, I think that's pretty impressive. I'm proud of that. You know, my point is really the triangulation of the triplets. Look up my Bonham triplets videos. Bonzolium is me. That's my channel. I have a triangulating the triplets. It's common sense. Remember, I think the most helpful stuff is common sense, but not everybody, for whatever reason, thinks of it that way. Look up my triangulating the triplets. But here, the X, we're calling it like the Bonham engine is like the X, okay? Because your left arm is in cahoots with your right leg and your right arm is in cahoots with your left leg, okay? And that is, I think, a very helpful thing, not just to make yourself a better drummer, but even as a medit meditative effect, which I'm going to go into a... There's going to be more... I'm going to make a series. It's going to be like a self-help series where you can use drumming not just for your physical health, but also for your mental health. I'm dead serious. I've said this in other videos, but i got to get serious about it. You'll see. They'll all see. But so here's the deal. So in Moby Dick, which is the reason why we're here, we do the Bonham engine, right? So what I'm going to do is I have a microphone over here. You're not going to see my Irish face. I know I look like the Lucky Charms guy or Rich Little or Jack Black or Steve Bannon or Mac Davis. Who's the Mac? Mac somebody people say I look like or I admit I do. You know what I wish? Look at how little my chin, I have like a little brown chin. Like, head on, I, I have an overbite. If I didn't have the overbite, check this out. Or an underbite. Now, I, now watch, watch this. That would be if my, like if I had braces at one time, my face might look fuller, like I wouldn't have quite like a, but look at that, man. That kills me that that just goes down. You know what I mean? 
Garrison Keillor action. That's why I wish I could grow a beard. I can't. Beard growing seems to skip generations. My dad could grow a beard when he was like nine. I still can't. All right, so Moby Dick, bottom, bottom engine. The basic pattern, which I've said in the bottom engine videos, but I have to go through it here just to demonstrate, okay? So what's happening is, what's happening is, is I am now gonna be doing what I said before, left arm hitting the same time as right foot, right arm hitting at the same time as left foot. So, so get ready, watch your volume toggles, okay? Right now, it might get louder, okay? So just real fast, you know, your arrow or mouse or whatever, just maybe turn the volume down a little. So here we go. Remember, right arm, left, and a way to think about it is, is your right arm and left arm are alternating, and your right leg and your left leg are alternating, but that means that my right arm and my right leg are alternating. Okay? All right. So watch. You slow that video down. That's what's so cool about YouTube now. You can slow stuff down, man. It's pretty cool because it sounds funky sometimes. Like, like there's a weird sucking sound to it. But, uh-oh. I'm going to make this one fast because I got a boogie. That basic bottom edge. I'm not doing any accents there. But so the first one we're going to do, there's two things we're going to do. I'm going to touch on something else but i'm going to stretch these out because i don't want the videos to be too long what i want you to do is do the bottom engine it might take some time i think there's a lot of drummers that have a real hard time breaking that up i think automatically i think a lot of drummers are wired to right foot and right hand at the same time okay i think with with practice you can you can if you have a hard time with that practice just your right and left use your right hand and your right leg okay in the same Okay, so there it is, without any accents, just straight up. What I want you to do, let me take this off because it is kind of loud. This is, an, this is an actual ching ring. Remember the originals, God, that almost fell. The originals are nickel plated and they have a lower ching sound than the repros. Repros are fine though. They're chrome, you can find them. They, they, I think they just call them hi-hat tambourine. All right, so, but what I want you to do now is we're gonna accent your hands as if you're doing just hand-hand triplets. Right, left, right, left, right, left, right, left, right, left, okay? Now remember, this is like a paradigm. Fun doesn't necessarily do this the whole time. Like in basketball, you practice free throws because you want to go to go to free throws. You don't do them all the time. That's actually probably not the best. All right, here's one. Like in basketball, when you practice rebounds, they used to have a thing where you'd throw the ball up against the wall and you jump up and down. That's never really going to happen in a game. So, do this, okay? But what you're going to do, the bottom engine... So for this video, that's what we're going to focus on. I because there's a few. It's important to get get this really through your head, okay? And body, okay. So remember, so what I'm doing is the bottom engine, but with a triplet feel, okay. You can think about it: one and a two and a three and a, or one triplet, two triplet, three triplet, or as like a dotted sixteenth: one e and a two e and a three e and a. Because effectively, if you, it sounds the same. Okay, so we're gonna leave it there. That's the launch off pad for where we're gonna go with this. So again, more videos on the way. Um, please subscribe if you haven't. Uh, remember, check out Bonzology. George is killing it over on Bonzology. If you wanna send George an email, it's gtbonzology at gmail.com. You want to send me one it's bonzolium at gmail.com i'm also going to get my website up and running <laughs> which will be great okay thank you for watching my loyal subscribers i really look at me
Look at me. This is like from Bridesmaids. I really appreciate you. I really do. I try to answer as many questions as I can on the video sometimes, but sometimes I'm busy doing stuff. If you ever wanna shoot emails and ask about stuff, bonzolium at gmail.com. Thank you for watching. More videos on the way. If I walk out of the house without this, I'm doomed. Let me get my phone, I got a haul. And I'm gonna schedule a live chat. It's gotta be on the weekend, but I'll get to that. Thanks for watching. And good night.